station is Platt Square. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. My babe's saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. See, so you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast-tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. life inside the military industrial complex blown up any babies with your death robots this week I see you're back in good spirits all I see in the news these days is robots robots killing people robots taking jobs robots having sex with people you know in my day we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot strong industrial action is what we need How's the ticker? You've been doing your exercises like Dr. Lund recommended? That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country! It's a bit stuffy in here. Should we get some air? Oh, Nini, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. I guess I'll feed the pigeons without you then. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Because you terrify the poor kid. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm just trying to correct all the rubbish you put in his head. You're determined to make my life difficult, aren't you? Have you still got your allotment here? Bastards took it away from me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Dare I ask why? The fascist closed ranks and forced me out. Didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. And there it is. Here you go, comrades. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad? I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old bear. Was it always... easy being married to Mom? What? I mean, it can't have always been smooth sailing, right? Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know... She saw the beauty in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege. We used to drive her up the wall. Remember that time we took in that injured sparrow? <laughs> yes, we, uh, we put it in the airing cupboard and it made a mess of all her nice clothes. Oh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. I know, Dad. You had a loving family. <laughs> I don't know why you turned out like you did. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Had enough of me, I see. Okay, take me home. I uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a couple then. I had Julia come round here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. You leave a cheek of it. What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? 
They've got it the wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. Don't be shy. I'll have a little more. Keep it coming. A little more. Seriously? Nini, fetch the chocolate biscuits. What is this? Is this what I think it is? Put it away, poking around in other people's business. What the hell are you doing with drugs in your flat? Oh, stop being such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. I just can't fathom it. You, of all people, why would you? They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know? I take them to broaden my mind. Where are you getting them from? Oh, so the stuffed shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. Stop joking around. I'm dead serious. Who sold these to you? Oh, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with strange beings with, with red and green skin. And a huge flower with glowing walls. Ha <laughs> ha, trippy, huh? Tell me who sold these to you or I swear I'm going to walk out right now. Calls himself Spider. He was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Here, I'll write down his phone number. I'll come back and check on you soon. Don't do any more of that junk. Oh, yes, yes, Chad, leave me be. Can I help you? You're Wendy, right? Your dad's told me all about you. Right. I'm Mina, your dad's friend. I know who you are. Oh, good. Well, going anywhere nice? Nope. Okay. Well, I better go. It was lovely to meet you. Sure. I like your wedding ring, by the way. Hey, you. Didn't expect to see you today. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? Is that a problem? How much does she know? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Ah, oh, well. I'd probably hate me in her shoes. <laughs> probably. <laughs> no need to sugarcoat it. Anyway, you gonna invite me in?
Hello, Mr. Spider. Good to meet you. How are you? Is this a wind-up or something? Right. How's this work, then? Bit of small talk until you're ready to get down to business? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, that's a shame. If you're not interested in my money, I'll have to phone that other guy. Come to the alley off Cherry Tree Lane in about 30 minutes. Are you the bird on the phone? Who else would I be? Let's do this then. What are you after? Jesus. What are you playing at? You do all your deals around the back of a primary school. Anyway, this little business, it's over. No more dealing, no more clients. You're done. Find another profession. <laughs> you what? A bit thick, aren't you? Which part do you want me to repeat? Or do you need it handwritten in block capitals? Maybe I can email it to you. Got some mouth on you. Jog on, love, before I take it to heart. Oh, Spider. You're such a weak, pathetic little man. You serious? Yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the Villas. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. Hopefully this gets my point across. What do you think, Gavin? Yeah. Beg pardon? Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna hang on to your license. So make sure you stay out of trouble. You wouldn't want me appearing on your doorstep, would you? You're crazy. Who the hell are you? Do what I say and you won't need to find out. Now get lost. No woman disrespects Spider. You've got bare bad things coming your way. having fun with your extracurricular activities. What? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? <laughs> Is this an intervention? Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. 
certainly the best cook in this family. Right. Bedtime. Oh, really? Yep. Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? Listen to your mum. No. That's all right. I'll uh, clean up here. You take him up. I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Why? What's wrong? You know what. I think Dan's getting suspicious. So what do you want to do? I'm not sure, Felix. Just give me some time. Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I am ready to take on the challenge. Not quite yet. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. Uh, sir, with respect, I am the far more qualified candidate. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. Why her, though? I'm not afraid of a little competition. <laughs> Just tell me where and when and I'll bring it. There she is. 